is welcome back to smart trader and this is Dias Paul and thank you so much for those likes comment share and subscribe my channel and if you're a new viewer then definitely go to my channel and watch all the videos and if you like it only if you like it then click the subscribe red button so that you can watch my upcoming videos and learn lot of tricks tips learnings and advices so in today's video uh, we are going to do a comparison video of zeroda versus stock this is a request from our subscriber you guys have requested a lot of uh, comparison so this is one of that and future videos will be coming soon before that we will be doing a lot of other videos also so it's going to be a mix of learnings so let's go to uh, one of the famous uh, website uh, to do the comparison so most of the 90% of this data will be perfect so let's just see how they have compared this so that we will get an idea about our stock brokers if you are using Zeroda or if you're using uh, from RKSV then you'll get an idea what they uh, what they actually are and how are they compared to their competitors so that you will get to know sh should you use your broker or should you move on to different brokers so these type of comparison videos will give you an idea your sub brokers and what are they compared to others and are they better or should we stay or should we move so without wasting time let's start off and let's go for a review on this so Zelda was of stock share broker comparison as you guys know both are uh, discount brokers these are not uh, full-time brokers okay so let's go over with the basic things so about Zerada if all you guys will be knowing about Zerada Zerada is a Bangalore and Indian based taxi share broker also known as but broker broker so people order brokerage for trading in stock commodity and currency derivatives okay so talking about upstock upstock is the trading platform offered by RKSV most of you guys would have heard about RKSV so this is the platform provided by them the popular discount broker offering equity, commodity, and currency derivatives trading services at BSC, NSE, and MPX. So, small uh, background about them. So talking as I told you, both are uh, discount brokers, and uh, supported exchanges are NSE, BSC, MCX, SX, and MCX, whereas Upstar provides BSC, NSE, and MCX. Pretty good enough till now. So. Let's quickly just look into the stock broker fees and charges, how they have compared. So looking at uh, Zerolda, Zerolda, yes, Zerolda charges 300 rupees for their trading account opening fees. Whereas I think Upstock is giving an offer where they're not providing, not, they're not charging anything anywhere. You see, they have, they are charging zero. Whereas Zerolda is charging a fee, minimal fee. It's not a too high fee, but this is a minimal fee what Zerolda is charging. But anyways, in this segment, I would say a thumbs up to Upstock right now. Talking about the brokerage plan, uh, both look identical. You see equity delivery brokerage both provides a zero. So that's a zero brokerage for equity delivery. But guys, other charges are applicable. When we say zero, only the brokerage which goes to zero the and upstock is zero rupees. Remaining of your STT and other charges will be applicable. So talking about equity intraday, it's going to be 20 rupees uh, per trade executed. Whereas it's going to be everything going to be 20 rupees. So there is no much difference in both two. So both stand together in this. So let's not talk about the brokerage plan too. They have uh, special brokerages. So, so talking about other charges, they have they say minimal brokerage charges is nil. There is no minimum brokerage, charges, but the charges a minimum brokerages of twenty. That is something I don't like. I think I will go with zero in that nil. So other brokerage charges of 0.1% or 20 per execute order, whichever is lower. So they go as per whichever is lower. So talking about the STT. Equity intraday 2500 per crore on sell trade. So this also remains same. So if you see equity delivery charges remain same. Equity futures also remain same. Equity options same. 
all looks same so both looks good and competitive at the same price so semi charges these all should stay same the rules is going to be same for all so equity delivery also is going to be same almost it's just that if you see currency futures and this is 135 here you can see it's 150 and it's 5300 5000 500 that's a variation and SC for 400 6000 so this is how Zeroda is picking up in this case so thumbs up to Zeroda now let's go to the features of these two Zeroda and Upstock let's see if they're providing three in one account no both doesn't provide three in one account both provides mobile trading for you guys and as well as charting which is very very important for us Talking about the automated trading, this is mainly provided by Zeroda but not by Upstock. This uh, automated trading is not required for most of the basic trader or beginner traders, but as and when you grow up and as and when you become a pro trader, I think this feature is really great. So, I would say, as an overall experience, I would say a thumbs up to Zeroda for this feature. Talking about the after trading R orders, yes, both provides these features. Well and good. Good till cancel, GTC, both doesn't provide this feature, SMS alerts, no, online demo, both provides an online demo, that's great, online portfolio, no, margin trading, funding, available, no, combined ledger for commodity, equity, and for equity and commodity, no, as, as you guys know, these both are discount brokers, so they won't have a feature of giving all these options, because for the money, what they are taking, they cannot give these features. Talking about the trading platform, Pi, Kite, Pi, and Nest. So the, these have a lot of features. I love Pi and Kite very much. And these guys provide a Nest feature of Upstock. They have a Nest single platform. So I would say entire square of time, I think Zeroda is 320 actually. So I think they have not updated this. So Zeroda is going to be 320 as I trade on Zeroda. Upstock is 315. I'm not. Traded enough stock. Uh, I heard a lot of, about them, but I think this is a big one. Now, uh, going to the next part investment options. So, do they provide any investment option like stock equity? Yes, both provide an option. Commodity, yes. RNC, yes. IPO, initial public offers, no. Mutual funds, yes, Zeroza provides a very good feature for mutual funds, whereas Upstock doesn't provide this because both are discount brokers, they do not provide bond, debt, nothing. But I think Zeroza is slowly entering into mutual funds. I think in future days it will come with initial public offer also. So I think Zeroza is slowly building up its competition. So talking about the customer service offer is very important. Both do not have a 24 bar 7 customer service. Whereas both has an email support that definitely they will take some time of one or two days to come back with your query. Talking about the online chat, both do not have this feature of online chatting, but but online chatting is very much important in today's world where most of the brokers are providing online live chat. So it will be more easier for us to just put a query and they come back rather than putting an email and waiting for two, three days. Talking about the phone support, both provide phone support. There is no toll free number, very annoying whenever you call them money cards but now we have geo and stuff so it's not a problem so talking about through branches okay they do not have that so research and tips daily market report no free tips no quarterly result analysis no sms alerts no as you guys know these are discount brokers and they cannot provide all these features for that money they are charging for you guys okay and uh, let's oh this is an interesting features pros cons and other review comments so this is something very nice about this website that we can get a few pros and cons so that we get an idea about your own so zeruda offer equity delivery trades for free great home broker offering simple flat fee brokerage service okay this is a or 20 per equity order whichever is lower for retarding FNO and currency derivatives, no hidden charges. That's really great. Offer fully automated trading and semi automated trading through its plugin with AMI Broker. That's great. A popular technical analysis software. So, this is something which I really like. 
After market orders, AMO can be placed between 6.30 p.m. to 9.15 a.m. Great. Zerodha offers 10% referral credit to its customers. I love this feature. Unlike most discount brokers, Zerodha has its own DP services which are cheaper. Nice. Talking about upstock, upstock basic plan offers brokerage free trading in equity delivery segment. I think that is common in both. So let's go to the cons of these two. Zerodha. Zerodha doesn't offer currency derivatives trading at BSE. BSE charges lowest exchange transaction change in currency segment. Call and trade is charged at rupees 20 per order. Oh, nice. This is something I would like to tell you guys. This is a disadvantage. Doesn't provide options to invest in IPO. They should soon start this with F. PO and mutual funds. I think mutual funds they have started, so they should be removing this part. Offer for sale, bond, and NNT. Doesn't provide stock tips or recommendation. Definitely, they cannot provide a stock tip because they are not a full time broker, guys. So, if, you, if they are charging you an annual fee or something, then definitely they will be a higher annual fee than they would be providing this. They are still a growing company and they have already grown, but Definitely in future days, they'll become a full time broker. For now, they are a broker. So, no margin funding available. Good till cancel is only available in commodities. GTC is not available in equity. Talk about uh, Upstock's uh, disadvantages. Upstock does prop trading, which makes it riskier broker than other brokers who does not do that. Brokerage fee trading is available only in equity delivery segment. If you take Upstock basic plan for all other segments, including equity, FNO, commodity, FNO. And currency derivative brokerage is not free. In upstock basic plan, though brokerage is free, customers still have to pay the DMAT transaction charges and DMAT annual maintenance charges as well. Call and trade is charged at extra rupees 20 per executed order. Same as Zerodha. Physical contract notes rupees 25 per contract note plus courier charges. I hate this. Doesn't offer facility to invest in IPO or FIO agreed. Doesn't provide stock tips or recommendation. Yes, they cannot provide. They are a discount broker. They need to charge extra money for that. Three in one accounts are not available. Company doesn't provide banking services. Definitely not. 24 7 service is not available. Same with Zerodha. So both have uh, advantages and both have disadvantages. It's going to be a mixed review of people how they have informed about this. So as you guys know, Zerodha is very famous from a longer time and Upstock is uh, up, Upstock is also a famous and I got to know Upstock from my subscribers that is when I started monitoring Upstock. So, both are great and please do more reviews on online, see the comments and complaints about these two because everything will have an advantage and disadvantage. So look into that and see if it is feasible for you with all these features and hope this video is an add-on to your knowledge and please do share this with your friends who are using Upstock and Feroda and uh, in future we will be, do we'll be doing many other comparison video. Thank you so much. Like this video, share this video and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming intraday strategies, tricks, tips and other smart ideas. So stay connected, be a part of Smart Trader family by clicking that red color subscribe button. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye-bye.